what would you do if you find excel filter is not working or your excel filter is disabled like this hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this intermediate excel tutorial i'm going to solve your filter not working issue or your filter disabled issue okay let's get started now there are two things you are most likely to find the first one is your filter is enabled just like this but it's not working and the second problem you will find is that your filter button is disabled you cannot select it okay so let's solve the first one filter button is here everything is here but the filter is not working okay take a look at this data set here and i'm going to click on filter and the filters are added here now if i click on this drop down and select south and click ok see the filter is working but this part is not working okay and at the left side you can see these row numbers are in blue that means they are inside the filtered selection but these are in black that means they are not inside filter so it was working until this row and after that it stopped working now here we have a blank row and when we added the filter we just click on the header and select filter so excel automatically selected the range for us and it has selected until it found a blank row okay so if i clear remove the filter and if i select this range and you can see there is a blank and if i go down and select this entire range and then click on filter the filter is added and if i select south and click ok and you can see the entire range is working so this is the first problem you may find out if your filter is not working okay now let's clear the filter and remove it okay so the second problem we usually have with a hidden row okay so select here and click on filter and let's change this to blue and now let's hide this and from if i select here and click on this drop down and you can see we don't have blue here okay cancel it if i unhide this and now we have blue here okay. so filter may not work if you have hidden rows in your data set okay now let's change this to east and the third issue you might have is with merged cell now let's insert a row here and now let's merge this and write something let's say i'm going to write one or two okay now here it should be one and here it should be two so let's add some random one here and a few two here okay now remove all those i don't need this right now so let's say this is our data and highlight this so these are our header and this one is merged and center so if i click here and click on data and then click on filter and here if i click on this drop down it's not working okay it will not work because we have a merge cell in the header but if we let's remove the filter again now if we move this data and if we make these our header if i click here filter and the filter should work here we can select one all the row that has one is here if i clear it and if i select here two you can see the filter is working so you cannot use filter with merge cell okay now we have our merge column here but it doesn't matter if you have merged row it will still not work so try to avoid merge cell inside your data range okay now let's remove this now the next problem you can encounter is the formatting issue okay now let's format this as date and month okay 
So if I click here, it's the April date here, but here we have 8 October. Now if I click on this drop down and click on date filter and then click here and then write 8 hyphen OCT. Click OK. This tree is here. Now if I click here and go to date filter and write equal to and then write 8 10 2022 and click OK. It's not working, but we have written the same date. Control Z and then select here date filter equals 8 10. If I click OK, we cannot find this. But when we have written 8 October like this, it found our data because we use the exact same formatting here. Okay, if your date is not formatted that way, you cannot find it. So you must match the formatting also if you are going to use filter. Okay, clear it, remove it. Now let's go to the second problem. Okay, your filter is not activated. There are several reasons. The first one is if your data is partly in a table and partly not. This range is inside a table. Let's zoom in. And here you can see this icon. That means this part is inside a table. If we click here and you can see we have our table design tab here and this is our table names. But if I click here, this part is not inside a table. So if your data is partly inside table and partly not, your filter will not work. So if I select the entire range, including the table and including this range, which is not inside the table, the filter button is disabled. But when we include this data inside the table, the filter button reappears. Okay. Now, another reason that your filter button will be deactivated if you group your worksheet. So what I did here, press control and select the worksheet. And we have grouped these two worksheets. When we group our worksheet, the filter will not work. And you will learn if your worksheet is grouped or not. You can see the file name has group added to it. Okay. Once I ungroup it and you can see the group word is removed from here. So if you have grouped worksheet, your filter will be disabled. Now, another reason your filter button will be disabled if you protect your worksheet. Let's add a password. And you can see the filter button is now disabled. Okay. So there are three reasons for which your filter button might be grayed out because the one you have data in partly table and partly not. And the second reason for your filter button to disable is if you group your worksheet and the third reason will be if you protect your worksheet with password. So these are the reason your filter might not work in Microsoft Excel and I have explained how you can solve it. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.